Investigators are trying to learn why an Amtrak train full of Republican members of Congress hit a garbage truck and killed a passenger in the truck. Lawmakers, including some doctors, rushed off the train to help the injured. The crash happened in Crozet, Virginia, as members of Congress were heading to White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, for a retreat. Nancy Cordes is there. Well, the show must go on. GOP lawmakers are meeting with the President of the United States today. They're also sitting down with the Secretaries of State and Defense. The one GOP congressman who was hospitalized has now been released. But all in all, it was a jarring start to this annual, long-planned retreat. I know it's been a harrowing day. Vice President Pence tried to reassure rattled lawmakers after tragedy struck halfway through a five-hour train ride. Mass casualty incident, level one, train versus truck. Hundreds of members, their families and aides were passing through tiny Crozet, Virginia, when their chartered train struck a dump truck, shearing it in two. Boom, jarring type of both sound and feeling. Uh, strange. Um, uh, almost like an explosion. Lawmakers, some of them doctors, rushed off the train to tend to the wounded. In one picture, you can see Representative Brad Wenstrup, a former combat surgeon, carrying a stretcher with Senators Cassidy and Flake. Members tried to save 28-year-old Christopher Foley, a passenger on the truck. We attempted to resuscitate him, but I don't think for his family that he suffered. Kansas Congressman Roger Marshall tended to another passenger. And we were able to keep a pulse, keep us a, a, a decent airway. NTSB investigators now on scene say it's unclear why the truck was in the train's path. We also consider distraction as a potential factor. The lawmakers completed their journey by bus as they tried to get back to work. The House chaplain was on the train as well, so there was uh, the ability to administer last rites. And all in all, it was a pretty tough day. Strangely enough, Senate Democrats experienced a similar tragedy on the way to their retreat in West Virginia last year. A four-vehicle crash directly in front of their bus that claimed one life and ignited a fireball right there on the highway. Anne-Marie, Vlad. Nancy Cordes in West Virginia. Thank you, Nancy.